What's up you guys, welcome back to Technium Gaming, I'm Technium and today I'm going to show you how to set up and install the Pixelmon Reforged mod for Minecraft. This is one of the oldest and the biggest Pokemon mods for Minecraft and it basically lets you play all of the main Pokemon games but in Minecraft. It adds every mechanic from the main games like training, battling, breeding, gym leaders, shops, all of that stuff into your Minecraft world. They just recently updated to add the latest expansions for Sword and Shield Pokemon like Urshifu and Calyrex along with all the items that came in there too. This mod has pretty much everything that you could want from any Pokemon game all inside your Minecraft world. So today I'm going to go over how to set up and install this mod on Minecraft. It currently only works with version 1.12.2 Minecraft so I'll show you how to get the older version if you're on the newest version. I'll show you how to install Forge, which is the mod loader, which lets you actually load mods into Minecraft. And then you should be good to go. I'll also show you how to configure and edit and tweak the mod itself so that if you feel like you need to change anything about what's happening in the mod, you should be able to do that pretty easily after this video as well. So let's just get right into it. The first thing you're going to need is the Minecraft launcher. If you're on the latest version like I am, 1.16.5, we're going to roll back to an earlier version by going to the installations tab. Click new installation. I'm going to name this one 1.12.2. Scroll down in the versions until you find that version right here. Then click create. And then you just have to launch it once so that Forge, the mod loader, can attach to it. So we're going to launch it there and then we're just going to close it right back out. The next thing you're going to need is Java. So you're going to go to java.com slash en slash download. Then you're going to click this agree and start free download button. It's going to download and then you're just going to launch it here. Click install. And then that's going to finish up and say you successfully installed Java. I'm going to click OK. Close, I mean. And then you're done with that. The next thing you're going to want to do is go to files.minecraftforge.net. And it is going to load this page right here. It's going to be for the latest version. So we're going to have to go back to 1.12 by going to this left side here, finding 1.12, opening that, and then clicking 1.12.2. Once you click that, you'll see this page. You're going to want to click Show All Versions and then find this one with the star next to it. If you click Installer, you'll go through an ad page, but you can skip that by clicking on the I right next to it and it'll give you a direct download. Click that. Click Keep. And then once that is done, you're going to just click on the button. And then it'll open this screen. Click on Install Client. Click OK. We'll install Forge. And then you are done with that step. The next step you're going to need to do is go to your Minecraft launcher again. And we're going to go to the installations tab. Create another new installation. This time we will name it Pixelmon. Go to the versions. Scroll down until you see release 1.12.2 Forge. Make sure it says Forge there. And then we're going to create a new directory right here by clicking Browse on Desktop new folder and then type in Pixelmon and as you can see it created a new folder there called Pixelmon click create and then we're going to launch the new Pixelmon profile here this is going to create all the folders you need to put the mod file inside in this Pixelmon folder as you can see it's creating a bunch of folders here and then you're just going to exit out again the last step you're going to need to do before playing is go to reforged.gg. That's the Pixelmon Reforged website. And then you'll see this green button here that says download. You're just going to click that. It's going to load an ad page just up in the right corner here. It'll say please wait a few seconds. Once that runs out of time, it'll say skip. You'll click skip. And then the download will begin for the mod. And you can close that tab. And then once that is done, we are just going to move that right into this mods folder here. So you can open up your downloads folder. 
And then inside, once you hit keep on the download, inside you'll see Pixelmon right here. You're just going to drag that into the mods folder. The mods folder should be inside your Pixelmon folder. Open that up and drag it right into there. Then you can close your downloads folder. And then you can reopen the Minecraft launcher for the last time, hopefully. <laughs> then make sure Pixelmon is selected. If it isn't, just go through the drop down and click it again. Then click play. And then we'll just do a quick test to make sure that it's installed properly. You can see it says Pixelmon in some of the loading parts of the screen. Sign that it is working. And then to create a Pixelmon world, you don't have to do anything special. You just create a new world as you normally would with whatever settings you normally pick and click Create New World. And if Pixelmon is installed correctly, you will see a starter selection screen when you load in just like this where you can pick one of any of the starter Pokemon all the way from Gen 1 to Gen 8. So I'll pick a Charmander here. And then you will be in the Pixelmon game world. So a few quick tips on how to play once you do get in. You'll see on your left side a party UI and it has Charmander in it and then five empty slots for new Pokemon that you'll get later. You throw your Pokemon out, just hit the R key, and it will send your Pokemon out. You battle Pokemon, you'll just do that same thing, except you'll throw the ball at a Pokemon. And then another thing to note is that there are no hostile or passive mobs in Pixelmon. So to get any of the drops you would have got from them, you're going to need to battle Pokemon, and they have drops. And depending on the Pokemon, they'll have different drops from the regular game as well as Pixelmon specific drops like berries here or apricots or other things like rare candies and all the items that you might know from the Pokemon games. If you guys are interested in me doing a bigger tutorial on how to actually play Pixelmon once you have it installed, please let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to do it if you guys want me to. But uh, for now, that should get you going with Pixelmon. And the last thing I want to show you is how to edit the configuration file for Pixelmon so that you can tweak anything that you might feel like you need to to make it a better experience for you. So you're going to open the Pixelmon folder. It's going to look like this. And in the config folder, you should see a pixelmon.hocon file. Yours might not have a notepad icon on it because I set it to open with notepad, but you open it, you're just going to right click it and click open with. And then you should see this drop down menu. You can open it with Notepad++, but if you don't have that, Notepad is perfectly fine. You'll open this text file. Tons and tons of options. You can edit almost anything you can think of about Pixelmon. So basically, just go through this, and edit anything that suits you. And then you should have a great Pixelmon setup to work with. It has settings from how long it takes to breed a Pokemon. It has event gift Pokemon spawns. It has spawn rates. Uh, the Pokerust virus settings. Riding Pokemon settings. Pretty much anything you can think of that is Pixelmon related. You can edit in this file. So definitely check it out before you get too far into a game. Because these settings can make a huge difference in how fun your play is with Pixelmon. Anyways, if this video helped you out or you enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, and if you want to be notified of videos I put out in the future, definitely hit the bell button. And I just wanted to say I really appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you all next time.